In this video, we go over a really useful way to understand how you're handling your own money. When I first started tracking my spending, I was really surprised by certain ways in which I was spending my money. You probably will be too. Welcome to the Money Funnies. We're here to give you the information you deserve on your money, the economy, and planning for your financial future. I'm Jetstream Rebecca. Let's go. Understanding your existing habits is a great way to figure out how you want to move forward. Be it changing nothing, setting broad goals, or creating a strict but personalized budget. So how do you actually go about tracking your spending? Let's get into it. Right after, I remind you to please like and subscribe. At various points in the last few weeks, we've discussed the importance of financial goals, budgeting, and tracking expenses. I would like to spend this week going over tracking expenses. How do I figure out what I've been spending? Some of the expenses like rent, you'll know because they don't change. You should also be able to see anywhere you've paid with a credit card or debit card by logging into your online bank. You'll also be able to see when you took cash out of an ATM. Cash is harder to figure out, especially if you've been cashing your paychecks immediately and only paying for things in cash. If you're doing that, I'd suggest writing down every time you spend money for a week or two and then doing this exercise. So uh, we'll do an example one here? Yes. First, one of the most important things to remember is there aren't right and wrong answers here, just your reality and goals. What if I envision myself with diamonds? <laughs> she said reality, not dreamscape. So we want to write down what we spent, say, last month and group things together based on item type. For example, I made a transportation line to group my car lease, insurance, and gas payments together. Just want to clarify what's being suggested here. How much do I actually spend on housing? Or really, any other category of life? How do I break it down? Let's say I rent an apartment. There's the cost of rent itself, $2,000 a month, and utilities, $150 for electricity since it was hot and I used the AC a lot, and $20 for the cooking gas for the stove. You may have different utility bills depending on where you live. You could also consider the cost of cable, phone, and internet to be utility costs, but I don't. I put internet and cell phone costs in a different category. More on which category to put things in later. Lastly, I have renter's insurance at $14 a month. So if I combine my rent, utilities, and insurance, my housing costs are $2,184 for August. Now let's say I own the apartment. The costs are likely to be more spread out here, say $1,500 a month in a mortgage, $500 a month in HOA fees, $300 a month in taxes, $100 a month for the insurance. The utilities would be about the same if I rented or lived in the apartment, so it's still $150 for electricity and $20 for gas. As an owner, I also have to pay for the repairs and maintenance. This isn't every month. I might have had none this past month. But then a few months ago, when I would have had to buy my own microwave, that would have been a pretty big cost. I'll include those the months they happen, but at the end of the year, they do tend to average out to say about $100 a month. So now I'll add up all those costs, the mortgage, the HOA fees, the taxes, the utilities, the insurance, and any repairs and maintenance I've had to do. That brings us to a similar but not exactly the same number as for the rental amounts. And now let's go back to see what we'll do with the information about our housing costs. Okay, so now that we've gone through my spending, I can see the total spent on different areas of life. Oh, this is going to be time consuming. We'll have so much real information when we're done, though. <laughs> Where do cash withdrawals go? I made them their own category to start with as I go through my account from last month. When I'm done with everything else, I'll try to guesstimate how I spent the cash. Coffee, snacks, tips, little things at that shitty hardware store that only takes cash but is so close to my house. When you're tracking your spending, there will often be different options for what category an expense can go into. I talked earlier about how the internet could be considered a housing cost. It could also be considered an entertainment cost or the costs associated with your job. The choice is up to you. It really depends on what you think you get the most use out of it for, or if I didn't need it for this purpose, would I still pay for it? I live in New York City and mostly take public transit, but when I would party a lot in my 20s, I would often take cabs home because I was too fucked up to handle the public transit. These cabs really added up in my transportation group spending, especially since all the public transit was included in one unlimited monthly card. So I started to consider the cabs as part of my going out costs in my entertainment category. It's not better or worse, it's just a different way to look at that expense. That was a lot for today, but really helpful. 
I'm going to go do this for myself for as long back as I can handle and then present on budgeting next week. Sound good? Tracking your spending gives you so much good information on its own, but it's also an ideal first step towards creating a budget because you start with your own real spending habits. Whether you follow our content or anyone else's for making a budget, tracking your spending will give you the jump start to get you on a really good path. Thanks again for watching this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe.